we've got to talk about something. Our waterways are being invaded and it is not good news. Today, I'm going to take a few minutes and tell you about a serious pest and it's called the Red Swamp Crayfish. The Red Swamp Crayfish is originally from southern central United States, such as Louisiana. But now it's been found in our California waterways. It was first documented in 1924. But first, let's back up a little bit. Because there's one term that we really need to cover. Invasive species. An invasive species can be any type of organism that enters a new environment that it's not originally from or originally native to. The introduction of an invasive species to a new habitat can cause a lot of harm. When an invasive species enters a new habitat, there aren't any natural predators. This means that it can continue to grow and reproduce in a really fast and aggressive way. This can cause harm to lots of different animals, plants, and the overall ecosystem in general. Now that we introduced the term invasive species, let's connect it back to the red swamp crayfish. Although it may not look very menacing, it causes a lot of harm to California's streams, creeks, ponds, and rivers. Let me tell you a few reasons why. Reason number one, red swamp crayfish have no natural predators. This means that there are no organisms that are keeping their populations in check. Reason number two, red swamp crayfish are fast growing and they are really quick to reproduce. Number three, Red swamp crayfish eat a lot. Red swamp crayfish are omnivorous, meaning they eat both plants and animals. Their aggressive predation has led to the decline of many native species to California waterways, including the Pacific tree frog, the California newt, and even salmonid species such as the rainbow trout and steelhead trout. There was even a study released linking the presence of red swamp crayfish to the presence of mosquitoes. Before dragonflies are flying around, they're living in streams and creeks in a form that we call a dragonfly nymph. One food source for dragonfly nymphs is mosquito larvae. As more crayfish appear in creeks, they eat more dragonfly nymphs, meaning that there are less dragonfly nymphs to eat the mosquito larvae. Thus, more crayfish, more mosquitoes. So now we're left with the question of, how do we help stop the spread of red swamp crayfish? There are efforts constantly going on to help reduce catch and trap the number of crayfish that are already present in California streams. We also want to stop the spread further to prevent crayfish from entering new streams and creeks that do not already have them there. This is where you can come in. Don't release crayfish, pet turtles, goldfish, or any other pets into local wild areas or creeks. You stay in there. The second thing you can do is clean your hiking, running, boating, or fishing gear after you use it. You could unknowingly be collecting invasive species and moving them around to a new area. Volunteer to help remove invasive species. Those are three ways that you can help stop the spread of invasive species.
but it's a good idea to research and learn what invasive species are causing harm to your local ecosystem. That way, you can play a role in stopping the spread of invasive species and the introduction of new ones.